All right, take a minute, pause the video, press and press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so here I notice that I see the word translation. Okay, so we're moving left and right or up and down on our graph. Translation, I look at that word and I see SL means slide. So I'm sliding the function left or right or up and down. So let's see what we have here. We have f of x, which equals the log base 3 of x, and then g of x um, is the image of f of x after a translation of 5 units to the left. Okay, so we're told it's going to the left. That's what g of x is. Underline all this stuff. And they want to know which of these represents g of x. So, okay, so let's just go to the answer here. To shift it left, we want to add to our input. It's choice 1. And to kind of make sense of what's going on here, let's just look at f of x real quick. So f of x equals the log base 3 of x. So here, if we think about this graph real quick, I'll think exponentially uh, first. So 3 to the 0 is 1. 3 to the 1st is um, 3. And 3 to the 2nd is 9. Okay, so that helps me think logarithmically because 3 squared is 9, so that means uh, when the result is 9, the power is 2. When the result is 3, the power is 1, and when the result is 1, the power is 0. So that's f of x. So to see that it, g of x does actually match choice 1, let's just play with that and see what happens. So we have g of x equals the log of base 3 of x plus 5. Okay, so what's going on here, right? Well, I'm thinking, okay, in order for um, for these two things to match, for this x to match this value here, what do I have to do? Well, in the first case, right, here x is 1 and the output is 0. So I want to know over here, how do I get x plus 5 to have the same output as 1. And so in order for that to happen, right, what do I have to do? I have to subtract 5 from both sides of my equation. So then I get x equals negative 4. So look at that. In order for these two inputs to match, in order for these two inputs to equal each other and, that, and therefore get the same output, I have to get, take it from 1 to negative 4. That's a shift left of 5. So our new point is negative 4. When x is negative 4, right, we get negative 4 plus 5, which is 1, and the output would be 0. And then likewise here, if I want an input of 3, what do I have to do here? Well, when is x plus 5 going to equal 3? I subtract 5 from both sides, okay? And that gives me x equals negative 2. So I'll have the same input when x is negative 2, because negative 2 plus 5 is 3, and then the output will be 1. So that matches here, which is a shift to the left by 5 here. Now, this is a nice approach because it shows us algebraically why essentially adding forces us to lower our value on the x-axis by 5. And in general, if you have a function, in this case, um, change colors here. So you have some function f of x, and then you want to translate it, right? You can take f of x, and let me just I'm trying to think of my notation here for translating, and I'm blanking out. Uh, let's say if f of x becomes f of x plus k. Okay, so we're adding to the input. If k is positive, let's, let's say k is a positive number. So if k is greater than 0, then we move. That does not look like the word then. Then we move left k units. And likewise, if k, if we're subtracting k, we move right k units. Uh, then, you know, you see these other things here. If you're, if you have f of x, like this is our f of x function right here, log base 3 of x, and then you're adding to it, then it's going to go up 5 units. So here it's going to go down 5 units, because that's our original function, minus 5. 
Here, when you have your original function, but the input is being subtracted by five, it's going to go to the right five units. So the up and down translations are when you add or subtract to the output of the function, right? By that I mean you have your original function, and then you add to it. That's taking your original output and adding to it, you go up. Take your original output and then subtract, you go down. Subtract from the input and you go right. Add to the input and you go left. So adding and subtracting from the inputs actually move you maybe opposite of what your, what your intuition would tell you. When you look at the algebra, you can see why this might be. All right, I hope that helps.